As a collector, I always try not to limit myself just to one company, and I know that there are a lot of people that are all about Funko, especially Funko Pops, and you know, some people do branch out into Dorp, Sakari, the other items that Funko uh, sells, but uh, I, I feel like you never should limit yourself to just one company. I mean, go with the things that appeal to you. So um, I do collect other types of figures as well, and usually at the end of my Funko News videos, I will try to touch on some other things that are out there. Now, the latest Funko News video, even though I feel like it wasn't um, as many new figures as I reported on the video before that, I still had a lot that I wanted to say about the things that I, um, you know, the figures that I addressed, as well as what's actually in stores right now and all of that. So it ended up being a pretty lengthy video. So that's why I decided to uh, do a separate video here talking about what some other companies have going right now, including Cryptozoic. I think Cryptozoic is doing some really impressive work. Um, you know, they have their, their ups and downs as well, like any other company, but I, I definitely do want to shine some light on them and some other companies as well. So as a matter of fact, before I get to Cryptozoic, let's go ahead and take a look at what some other companies are doing first. So I've mentioned on my channel before that I, I've been looking forward to these uh, Street Fighter Loyal Subjects figures. And Loyal Subjects, they have a lot of figures out there right now. They have uh, Master of the, of the Universe figures, you know, that's He-Man and Master of the Universe. They um, have Power Rangers figures out there, G.I. Joe, um, Dragon Ball Z. You know, a lot of people have been hunting those Dragon Ball Z Loyal Subjects figures lately. And as a matter of fact, they're pretty easy to find because they uh, sell them at Walmart as well. So the Street Fighter figures are on the way. I'm still interested in these, but they got some competition now. I, I will say it that way. And I'm not just talking about the Funko Pops. They do have some other competition as well. So will I get the Street Fighter Loyal Subjects figures? Not 100% sure, but I, I still do like um, a lot of the designs. I think uh, characters like Vega, Bison look cool. I do like that they have a lot of color variants for the characters, including some rare ones, you know, some that are difficult to find. Like, I'm pretty sure that Gold Ryu is going to be tough to come across. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you're a fan of Loyal Subjects, that they are going to do Street Fighter as well. These figures, because they're blind boxes, I think the price point makes it a little, eh, you know, a little tough because I think they run around $13.00. And they cost even more if you get them, like if you go to Hot Topic and you buy them in store, they definitely cost more than that. So the price point, I think, is a little tough for some people. But you do have to remember that these figures, they do have a lot of articulation going on. Sometimes they come with, um, you know, different pieces, like maybe weapons and things like that. So do consider that as well if you're going to get some of these figures. And I would say also, if you know other people that could collect, you know, maybe you can help each other out. You know, definitely be willing to trade these figures as well and maybe even go second market if you have to. I mean, you know, I hate to say that, you know, the loyal subjects because that's not helping their pockets. But I mean, I'm just being real. If you want to get what you want to get, sometimes you got to go that route. You know, you have to go second hand with it. But uh, yeah, these are just some other figures to consider loyal subjects. And do check out what else loyal subjects is doing. Like I said, I already mentioned some of the other properties that they have. So definitely take the time to look them up and check them out online. Now, the Titans figures, I've said before, I'm not crazy about the body of the Titans figures, but as far as some of their sculpts, I think they're really stepping it up, especially with the facial features and really nailing what characters look like. So if you look there in the center at the um, Game of Thrones figures, again, the body's not so crazy about them, but they do have some great details. I, I like the Night King. I like the wrinkles on the face and everything. You know, and I think the dragon looks pretty cool there as well so yeah they're stepping up their detail and I do like these Beatles figures that they have as well you see that they have some inspired by the yellow submarine and then they have the um you know the black and white figures as well so you know you're a big Beatles fan I think those are pretty cool and if you look in the background there in the upper right you see that they have some other properties including Metal Gear Solid now again because the facial features are so like lifelike and I mean so on point, it does make it even more of a clash with that body styling. So that's what kind of holds me back when it comes to Titans. That's why I have very few of them. I only have Alien and Predator, which were Loot Crate exclusives. 
and then I have a uh, The Last of Us two pack, which um actually won from um well not necessarily one, but Cat D was nice enough to send that for me as part of her Santa Cat D um thing that she has going on. And then you notice here also they have a lot of uh, Cartoon Network characters. So if you're a big fan of those Cartoon Network characters, it's a good way to get them as well. And some of the, I mean, the body styling really does fit some of those characters well. Like I think Courage, you know, the cowardly dog looks pretty cool. Um, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, they look all right. You know, Steven Universe. So yeah, just another product to consider and pretty easy to find. I know I definitely see Titans figures um, at Toys R Us. Now, getting to Cryptozoic. This is really the main focus of this video. This is a company I think is worth keeping your eye on. For one thing, they had the little bomb, the little DC bombshell figures or DC little bombshells. And I actually have uh, the first wave of those figures. I actually got all of them, all 10. And um, I think it was 10. And yeah, I, I want to say there was 10 characters and then two that had variants. So yeah, I basically I had that full set. And then um, they have... Uh, uh, they had a series 1.5. I wasn't crazy about that because it was basically the same thing as the first series, but it was just color variants. But now they actually do have the official series 2 on the way here. You see it there in the upper left, and they do have some different characters in the mix. I think some of them look pretty cool. Um, I think Killer Frost looks pretty awesome. I like her in her uh, skiing gear. That's pretty cool. Um, Batgirl, I think, looks good. Zatanna looks awesome. And uh, they have another Harley Quinn, and they got Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman as repeats, but they did change up their design some. Like, Harley Quinn has her big pop gun there instead of the mallet. And, uh, yeah, I think Batgirl looks pretty cool as well, and, and she she does have a rare variant there. You see the grayscale with the uh, purple highlights basically going on. So, yeah, I, I think Wave 2 looks pretty good. Overall, maybe not as cool as Wave 1, but still, still pretty cool. And I'm going to assume... That this in the upper right are, you know, these are just concept art for Wave 3. And um, I, I really am looking forward to that wave because these look awesome. And you see that they're including some male characters. Now, for people that don't know, what when we think about DC Bombshells, I know most of us immediately think about the female characters because that's where DC Bombshells really started with artwork, taking those... Uh, female characters from DC and, and giving them these classic looks, these like World War II era looks. That's what it was all about. But then it actually did become eventually a full-on comic series. So that's why there are male characters with these designs as well, because they're in the comics. So um, the characters they have here, though, they got Superman looking like a strong man, you know, from that time period. I think that's pretty awesome. And I think that mustache is just hilarious. That That's really cool. Then they got Green Lantern in his flight suit. Pretty awesome there. Um, Aquaman as a sailor. That's a no-brainer there. I really, really like this version of um, Bruce Wayne Batman. Sort of a noir detective look to him. That's very cool. And then I also like Joker with the zoot suit on. And he has the, you know, the big brand hat tilted to the side. That is pretty awesome. The female characters, they do have some female characters in this wave as well. They have um, Power Girl, um, I believe the Star Girl. They got Harley Quinn again, so that means Harley Quinn in every wave. That just shows how popular she is right now. But this one is cool because it does have her with the hyenas. So that's pretty cool. And um, they got Lady Deathstroke. And then the last character, I'm actually not 100% sure who that is. So if anybody knows, help me out in the comments with who that last uh, female character is. Now I'm jumping down to the bottom left here. The DC Superhero Girls is basically taking the women from DC Comics and making them more like kid friendly. As a matter of fact, you may have seen the dolls and stores. Um, so and they have different types of figures based off of the DC Superhero Girls. So I'm not going to run through all of these, but I must say I do like the design of some of them. I like that Harley Quinn. It's very different from the traditional Harley Quinn, but I do like that one. She still has sort of a devious look to her. I think Supergirl is on point, Katana, um, Batgirl, yeah, I, I really like those, Wonder Woman, yeah, pretty cool as well, and um, I think the bottom row may be characters that aren't quite as well known, and or really, they look so different, like, that Poison Ivy, I would not assume Poison Ivy looking at her at just a glance, I mean, you really stare at her at the detailing, then yeah, you know that's Poison Ivy, but um, yeah, very different looking styling to her there, though. I'm going to assume that those figures will actually come in like little lockers because it does say locker um, assortment. 
whereas the uh, bombshell figures, they came in these little tin cans, these cool little tin cans. So, yeah, the locker, I guess that's just going to be their, basically their way of putting the figures out there, and that's what they will be in. That's just an assumption because I haven't seen those officially yet. Now, in the bottom right is uh, one product I think is interesting, not for me, <laughs> though, but these Tiki's. You know, it's just something different, obviously based off of like Tiki figures or Tiki dolls. They have Harley Quinn, Joker, and Batman. So pretty crazy looking figures there. And I'm sure there will be some people that are into it. Just a little too out there for me, though, personally. Keeping up here with the bombshells, this is a better look at that um, Batman. And you see that they are going to actually do a statue of him. Which I, I really like that styling. I just love Bruce Wayne, Batman, you know, with that, that very noir style going on to him. And if you look to the left of that, you know, that very uh, rough statue there, you see they are going to do the Joker statue as well. Now, I'm wondering if uh, they're going to do a version where he has the hat. I, I like that hat. I really want him to have the hat on with the statue, but maybe they'll do one with and one without or... I don't know if they would actually do a removable hat. I kind of doubt that, but we'll see what happens there. And then these are some statues that they already have on the right. So these are just color variants here. They already have the Catwoman, um, the Wonder Woman, and the Harley. As a matter of fact, they already have two other versions. They have the regular color scheme, and then they have the Nora versions, which is basically them grayscaled or black and white with um, certain color highlights. Like Catwoman has the purple highlights going on. Of course, Harley has some red highlights going on. But, um... So these white and gold ones, I don't know if they're completely necessary, but I do think they look cool, though. I will say that. I don't, like, I don't know if they're necessary, but they do look cool. Oh, and by the way, there actually is another Harley Quinn variant of this one, a Christmas version as well. So if I were to get one, people know me, it would be Harley Quinn, you know. So And I, I really hope that these like catch the light really well, like the gold part of it. I hope it does have sort of a metallic sheen to them. Because that would definitely make them a lot more appealing to pick up. But it is it's to me not maybe not completely necessary. I think that really is for hardcore fans though. And that may already have the other color variants. Now this here, and these are some images from the Toy Fair. So that's why you're seeing some concepts instead of the actual figures. It's just letting you know these figures are on the way. So these are almost like placeholders, you might as well say. So they, they are going to do a classic Harley Quinn 25th anniversary, which I think is going to look amazing. You know, so really looking forward to that one. And then check this out here in the upper right. Linda Carter as Wonder Woman. That is a great idea. Really glad they're doing that because I know there are a lot of people, when they think of Wonder Woman, they think of Linda Carter. They think of that TV series. So that is a smart idea on their part. So you see they're going to have two versions of the statue, one where she doesn't have the cape and then the other one where she does, you know, with the American colors and everything on it. And they're doing the same thing for the uh, smaller figures of her as well. You know, one without the cape and then one with which, uh, you know, that's a great idea. It gives you an option there. Now, I actually recently got the Harley Quinn Hula Girl thanks to a trade with Cat D, and I'm really happy with it. And you see there are going to do more Hula Girls, so Poison Ivy, I think Poison Ivy looks pretty cool there. Now, they're doing another Harley Quinn. I'm not so sure about that design because she has the hair like the um, Suicide Squad version, but then the actual outfit she's wearing is like her, sort of like the New 52 look or like the roller derby, um, you know, Harley Quinn. I'm not sure why they did that mix. I, I hope that they make some adjustments with that before they actually put that figure out. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But the whole hula girl idea, I think is cool. And I wish they actually would do smaller ones that you could put on your dash. You know, I would absolutely pick that up. Some other interesting items that they have here that, you know, these are very different from what some other companies are doing, especially this shoebox collection, which obviously this is geared towards female collectors, you know, lady collectors. So, um, yeah, I, I, I do like it. It's clever because, I mean, I'm not going to buy any heels. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it, <laughs> you know, but, but when you look at the detailing, I mean, it's very true to the characters. You could look up there up top and see, yeah, that's, that's definitely Wonder Woman. That's represented her. You see the Harley Quinn represented there. Um, Mira on the second row there and Hawk Girl and Catwoman as well. Like, I like how they put Catwoman's glasses, you know, her, um, yeah, well, basically her goggles or glasses, they put those right on the, sh the shoe and it fits. 
you know, um, there at the bottom, Batgirl, that's easy to see. Poison Ivy, check out the detailing there. So I think that's very creative because there are a lot of women that, you know, collect that, that are into the geeky collectibles. So I think it's a smart move on their part. And there's 12 of them to collect, you know, so also they have here on the right hand side, they have these hand statues. Now the first one they did, which actually I think is already available to purchase online, is based off of the man who laughs, a Joker um, story. And you see the, him holding there the Joker card right off of the cover of the comic. So that is very cool to me. And by the way, if you don't know about The Man Who Laughs, it's actually a very old movie that inspired the creation of the character, the Joker. I mean, the character in that movie, The Man Who Laughs, really looks like the Joker. I mean, he looks even creepier almost because it was a live action movie. Um, But I think it was it might have been a silent movie. That's how old it was. But yeah, that's where the title, The Man Who Laughs, came from. And then check out these uh, other sculptures that they are going to do the hands. They have some Joker variants, you know, with the different cards. They have a Harley Quinn hand holding a Joker lollipop. They have the Poison Ivy hand holding looks what looks like a Venus flytrap. And, of course, they got Batman holding a Batarang, which I think should be pretty cool. So, um, like I said, if you're interested in these, at least the Joker one, the original Joker one, I think is actually available online already and you see that is from entertainment earth that image there so they have it available now this is just too cool to me i love these i think this is one of the coolest things that cryptozoic has right now these mugshot busts now the harley quinn one is actually already available in fact it's available directly on the cryptozoic entertainment site you know, so you can check that out. And I'll try to remember to actually link that site down below so you can go directly directly there and check that out. But yeah, I think she looks phenomenal like that. I love the uh, the smeared eye makeup. And I actually like her hair out like that without the coloring in it. You know, that's pretty cool that, you know, she and obviously if she was getting her picture taken and everything, she would have to take the hood off. So I, I really like that detailing. That's very cool. And then that Joker, that version of the Joker is like none I've ever seen before. But, I mean, you look at it and you're like, yeah, that definitely is the Joker. So I like that. I like that his character is kind of flexible with his design. And then notice here on the left also, I actually have her twice there, there's a Catwoman one as well. And, again, I think that Catwoman one looks cool. Technically, yes, she probably should have her hood and everything off too, but it just looks too cool, you know, to have it on there. So, yeah, I really, really like these. And I like that they have uh, the Gotham City um, badge on there as well. So these are awesome. I definitely got to get the Harley Quinn one at least. And then this is the competition. Remember I said Loyal Subjects has some competition as far as Street Fighter is concerned. So they are doing some small figures like the size of the little bombshell figures most of those, I think, look pretty good, and I am looking here in the upper left. I think most of those look good. Gal and Blanca look really weird to me. I don't know what happened with them, but they look weird to me. But I think most of the others look cool. I do like that they have an evil Ryu variant. That's very cool. And then they have, I know some people will look at it and just say, like, it's a purple M. Bison. But I'm, I'm assuming that it's meant to represent his um psycho energy or, you know, the... That, that cycle crusher thing he has going on. I'm pretty sure that's what it's meant to represent. And that's why they had that going on. So, yeah, I like most of them. I just think Guile and Blanca are kind of a miss there. And then the actual statues here on the right, these look amazing. Like these really anime-styled versions of Chun-Li, Kami, and Sakura. Those are awesome. And then you see that they are going to do a 30th anniversary special um, by variant of Chun Li up there with the black and gold outfit. That's awesome as well. And I would hope too, you see there's a different version of Sakura, at least some artwork there that they, they you know may do a variant with her as well. Maybe even a grayscale variant. That'd be pretty cool. So I like what they have going there. And also if you're into I'm not really into like uh card games and whatnot, but apparently Cryptozoic is in that business as well. So you could check that out on their site. They actually do have a Street Fighter like battle card game as well that they're already selling. So, yeah, a lot going on with Cryptozoic. Now, you know, again, you know I'm mostly about Funko, but I, like I said, I really do like to branch out. I like to check out other things, and I hope that you would be willing to do so as well. And I really think that Cryptozoic is one company that you should check out. I'll try my best to remember to link um, their website down below, but you can see 
you know, just search out Cryptozoic and you'll find a lot of what they have going on. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know what you think also about Loyal Subjects and Titans and any other companies that I did not cover in this video. But do expect me to see to address, you know, expect to see me address some other companies in the future. You know, companies that are doing great things like um, McFarlane and NECA, you know, and just these big name companies and then also some smaller companies as well. Like I think Quantum Mechanics is a company that, you know, doesn't get enough attention. Some people aren't crazy about QFIGs, which is crazy to me because I think QFIGs are pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, just let me know what you think about companies besides Funko. Like what else do you collect or what else are you willing to collect? Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, definitely leave me a comment with your thoughts and uh, share the video as well. That helps me out. And you all take care. Till next time.